Hi, this is the start of a series of videos on my restoration of this IBM 1130 that's in front of you with the blue covers, as well as work on my personal 1130 that has the yellow skins behind it. I'm uh, working on the front machine for a museum in Maryland, uh, doing a restoration, uh, finishing up on uh, some of the cosmetic details, and working on both the console printer and the uh, disk drive right now, since everything else is working. So this uh, 1130 system was uh, introduced in 1965, came out at the same time really as the uh, IBM System 360 uh, series, it used the same logic technology. Uh, it's, it was a low-end machine, uh, relatively inexpensive by mainframe standards. Included on it was a, a keyboard, a console printer which used an IBM Selectric typewriter mechanism, and there was an internal disk drive that uh, supported cartridges with a capacity of one megabyte. That's the disk drive that you can see. Uh, the cartridge slid in vertically. It was a 14 inch spinning platter. I'll give more details on how the 1130 works as I talk through different restoration tasks in coming videos.